Hi, for this video we're going to solve a system of equations by graphing. Um, this method is great if the two lines happen to intersect at an integer. If they happen to intersect at a decimal or a fraction, then it's a lot harder to do this without technology. So with this, what we're going to do is we're going to graph each of these lines separately. So I'm going to start by graphing this line first. Um, and if you remember to graph a line, the easiest way to graph it is in y equals mx plus b form. And remember that our b is our y-intercept, so this is where we're going to start on the y-axis. So this is our y-axis, this is our x-axis. So I would go to where y is positive 2, and then we use our slope to graph this line. So the slope tells us that we're going to rise 1 and run 3. So from my starting point, I'm going to go up 1 and turn and run 1, 2, 3. I could continue in this manner if I wanted to go this way. Um, I can also go backwards. And with this, you want to be very, very careful to make sure that your um, line is very straight because remember that you're going to, the solution to this is going to be the intersection of these two lines. So if your line isn't exactly straight, you may have a hard time making sure that it does really line with this. So for these, you may want to use a straight edge. Um, just to help you out. The second graph, I'm going to graph in a different color, so let's do this one in pink. So for this one, remember that the y-intercept is always our starting point, or so we're going to start at negative 2 on the y-axis. And our slope this time, because it's negative, I have to go one positive and one negative direction. So I could continue doing this until we see that the intersection point is right here. I could have also gone down one, back one, down one, back one. Um, the pattern continues for forever, so it's easy to see um, that this pattern continues to go on forever and ever. So the intersection point, this point right here, the point that they have in common, um, is at negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Remember that the x is always first, comma 1. So that would be our solution. So we would say the solution to this one is negative 3, comma 1. I would always take the time just to make sure that your answer makes sense by plugging it back into both of them. So if you want to check this one, um, you would simply just plug it back into either equation. Remember that this is always your x term. This is always your y term. So if we check it in the first equation, we would replace y with 1. And we're going to see if I take 1 third times negative 3 plus 2, does that give me 1? So this right here is really 3, negative 3 divided by 3, which is negative 1 plus 2. And that does work. And just because it works in one doesn't mean that the solution is correct. It does have to work in both of them because you're looking for um, the x and y values that make both of these equations the same. So with this, if I plug it into the second one as well, I would get 1 equals negative negative 3 minus 2. And negative negative 3 is really positive 3. And positive 3 minus 2 is 1. So we can see that this does work. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.